Hi, my name is George from Microvisor, and this is the instruction video for the SB30 Retractable Microvisor Unit. When you receive the retractable microvisor, it comes in a very well packaged box. When you open that box up, you're going to see the microvisor unit, the retractable, which will consist of a frame, the hood, and the additional adapter bracket. After you go through the three components in the box for the microvisor, you'll also see along with the instructions is a screw kit. In that screw kit is a number of spacers and two different sets of screws, which will be detailed in the instructions. When installing the microvisor retractable unit, the first step that you want to do is you want to take out the two screws located on either side of the hood. One is located on the left, one is located on the right with a Phillips head screwdriver. On the right hand side, I'm taking out the first installation screw by just backing the screw out of the hole. Then I'll move to the left hand side. Now I'm going to take the screw out on the left hand side. These little screws. The next section will be taking the hood off the frame. You can place this to the side for safekeeping. You'll see the illustrated photo as well as in the instruction manual. You'll have to use the additional adapter that's provided. You have to take the adapter bar and place it These two rear feet in the back of our retractable frame have magnetic feet. These feet are what's used to attach the back of the frame to the back of the microwave chassis. This is a small update to the installation instructions for the retractable unit. Um, this will cover installing the magnetic feet, which will um, allow you to do the installation. You'll see that there'll be two bags. One bag will be your parts screw kit. The other bag that you'll find in here will actually be the two magnetic feet, okay? So the magnetic feet are in one bag, the screws are in the opposite bag. So we're going to open this bag up. I'm going to take out the magnetic feet. You'll notice that there's a magnet and a foot. The recess is in the magnet, that's where the screw heads go, those are going to face upwards. This channel is going to face upwards when you place it down. The bottom of the channel has two little guides on it, basically, so that when we set it down on top, it'll almost fit into a groove. So first, you're going to take the magnet and slide it in, get the holes to line up. Then you're going to come over here to where the foot is. There's two receptacles here that are going to take two screws. You're going to take this combo piece that looks just like that. You're going to place it over top exactly where the screws go. You'll feel that little frame just sit in there. Then you go to the other parts component bag. In this bag, let me move all the screws that you don't need for this. Okay. You want those four screws right there. You're going to take each of the screws. You're going to put one in each one of these holes. Then you're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver. And you're going to slowly tighten each one down into the hole. All they have to do is be snug. Okay. That's it. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So on the finished installation, that's what it's going to look like. First, I start by taking the first long screw and I pass it through the bottom of our main bracket. With everything in place, I'm going to take the frame and put it underneath the bottom of the unit, allowing the feet to sit in the little channel on either side. As you can see, I'm now tightening the screw that I used so that now the unit is firmly in place. Only make it basically snug in the beginning. Once the unit is in place with the single screw, you want to make sure that the sides of the unit are flush on both sides. The guide rails have a little stop on the inside. 
so that when you slide the guide rail up inside the hood, it'll stop and line up where the screw hole is. Once you have the frame installed, then you're going to take your hood and you're going to slide it back on the guide rails. With the guide rails fully extended, you put the hood back on the unit and make sure that obviously the guide rails inside each side are fully to the front. First, I'm going to start by putting in one of the two screws that hold the hood in. Now I'm going to install the other screw. Last but not least, as I mentioned before, there are self-leveling feet in the rear of the hood. If needed, you can adjust those to maintain level for the front portion of your hood. This is the self-leveling foot designed in the retractable unit. When needed, you simply loosen the thumb screw and you can adjust the level of the unit. It's as simple as that and tighten the thumb screw down. As you can see in the leg adjuster, there's a measurement gauge right here denoted by the arrow. So when you make your adjustment on one side and you tighten the leg down, you can go to the other side and do the same thing. Now that our microvisor retractable hood is installed, you can see how nicely and easily the hood retracts and extends for use 